that the soul in the body of a person doesn't die. Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah says, the soul never dies. It only tastes death. What dies is the actual body. And there is the word of taste. The soul will taste death as it comes out, shifts from hayatul dunya, from the worldly life, transitioning into hayatul barzakh, moving from one to another. That's all. Otherwise you and your mind and your thought and your ability to sense what's around remains with a person. The soul, it comes out of the human body in six stages. We want to speak about these six stages that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran and they were mentioned by the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the ahadith. Number one, when the soul or when a person is going to die, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends the angels that are responsible to take this individual soul. Because even though it is Malakul Mawt that takes the soul out, his job is the last job. And this Malakul Mawt has an army of angels that work for him. They're the ones that extract the soul first and foremost. Allah Azza wa Jalla said, our messengers, meaning our angels, will cause him to die. That's in the first stage. So in the first stage, Allah sends these angels to this person. In the first stage, it is the day of your death. Allahu A'lam. In which hour of the day or hour of the night it would be. But there is a day of death that is written for each and every single one of us. On that day, exactly as soon as this day enters, the angels are prepared and they're ready and they're coming down. The second stage, these angels have arrived. They're at the body now. The second stage is the collection of the soul from the body. So the angels begin by extracting the soul from the tip of the toes. And as a result, the toes go cold and numb. And the soul is being pulled out upwards. So now it's collected from the foot. And it's collected from the shin. And it's collected from the knees. And a person begins to feel coldness and numbness in his feet. And it rises until it reaches the hips, until it reaches his abdominal area. It comes out from the tips of his fingers until it reaches his arm, his hand. It goes all the way. This is the angel's job. They begin to extract and prepare this soul to come out. And a person senses that something is happening and something is going wrong with his body. That's when all these machines, if he's in the hospital, begin to give abnormal readings. The third stage is the stage in which the soul reaches at taraqi Allah Azza wa he mentions the third stage in Surah Al-Qiyamah. He says, when the soul reaches at taraqi which is the collarbone here. So this is the third stage. This is the time in which Allah would say, وَقِيلَ مَنْ رَاقَ Those around him would say, Where's the Raqi? Where's the doctor? Where's the nurse? وَظَنَّ أَنَّهُ الْفِرَاقِ And the person that is laying there knows certainly this is the moment of departure. The fourth stage, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in Surah Al-Waqi'ah, Now the soul has moved from at taraqi from the collarbone, and it has pushed up towards al hulqum which is the throat. At that moment, Allah says, those around him are looking. There's nothing else they could do other than look at him. Allah Azza wa Jal, he says, and we are closer to him than you, however you cannot see it. What does this mean? It means that the angels of Allah are closer to him than you, and you cannot see them. And the dying person, sees the angels. It is at this moment that the person experiences fitnatul mamat. This is the worst of the stages. This is the painful stage. This is the most difficult stage. And that is when a shaytan will have the last battle with you. He will use all his energy he has and all his skill to cause you to doubt Allah and his messenger and Islam. The fifth stage and this is now the extraction of the soul. 
And this is the job of Malakul Mawt, the big boss. This is his job now. The final stage, Allah Azza wa mentioned in Surah Al-Nazi'at, two situations. Malak al Mawt ripping out the soul from this body. When Nashitati Nashta is a Nasht. A Nasht is to undo a shoelace effortlessly. That's how the believer's soul is extracted. Whereas the disbeliever's soul, it is ripped out 